It's your boy Odin from host.promo. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing count.ly and I'm gonna tell you the few reasons why it sucks and I'm gonna tell you everything that they don't tell you on the website, okay? I have been personally using it for a while on my site, host.promo, which helps you find the best web host and promotions. And I do like a few things about it compared to a lot of the other analytics platforms. One is that a lot of things update live and everything seems like it's using new technology and everything seems pretty modern and pretty slick, okay? However, there's a few things that aren't good about it. The first thing that is not good is how it records visitors. So for example, if you go down here, you can see the latest visitors and we can see this person from Arlington Heights, they went to this page. However, if they start going to other pages, it only records the last page they went to here. So you can't see what that user did during that session, okay? Because their big thing is their enterprise. And so the most important thing, one of the most important things being able to track your users and what pages they go on, go on that is not even included in the free version. And if you've used PeeWeek, which is now known as Matt, um, I use this on some of my other websites they do track user profiles okay so if Countly did track user profiles it would be pretty good however they don't do that uh, in their free version and that really sucks and they don't put even how much their plan is okay they tailor it towards enterprises so if you're a small startup or a new website then yeah, Countly is really not that great for you. If you're a big enterprise and can foot the bill, then it's a pretty sweet platform, okay? Now, a few other things I did not like about Countly was this is pretty cool. So you can basically do feedback widgets on your website and you can come here, get the code, put it on your website, like how are we doing? Did you like this page? And your users can vote. However, when I tried to add the feedback widget, there was all these jQuery errors and it was messing up my site, okay? So, and it wasn't an issue with my code, it was an issue with their code, okay? So, that was broken. Um, the other thing that really is not good about Countly is that their app, they advertise that they have a mobile app and blah, 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 but the mobile app absolutely sucks, okay? You can download it yourself and see for yourself. It doesn't even work. Uh, it has like the real time viewer in real time and it just doesn't even work. Um, and then there is a few cool things about count.ly. Uh, one of them is the errors. So within one line of code, you can be tracking all these different errors and you can see what devices they're happening on the most, uh, how many percentage of visitors are affected, and they also have an events, so you can track events and you can track events in the free version, which is cool. Um, you do need to code the events yourself. However, you can track uh, every single click automatically through one line of code. Let me just go ahead and show you guys real quick. We'll view the source code. I also wanna show you guys what this looks like. So this is the snippet that you would put on your website and you track sessions, track page views. This is by default, they recommend you put these in order to have it to work. Um, but you can also track links. And when you track links, every time someone clicks on a link, it will track it. And when you track errors, it will track errors. So I highly recommend you put these two if you're gonna use count.ly, okay? And you, there's the documentation is also not good on how to find this code. So you may wanna to go to host.promo, come here, grab the code, okay? Um, one good thing about count.ly, and the reason I started even using it is DigitalOcean has a one-click application now. So you can just install it in one click and be up and running. Uh, versus Matamo and PeeWeek takes a little bit of time to configure it and set it up yourself. I would say, um, Going forward for my new sites, if I want to track user profiles, I'm definitely going to use this over count.ly. And one second, there's a plane coming. 
And the other thing is if I want to track the user flow and what pages they went to, then count.ly is just not the solution. Um, however, for basic analytics, it's pretty cool. It's pretty slick. Uh, I like parts of it. However, other parts I just simply do not like. And that's my honest review of count.ly. And if you guys want to try it out, I will leave a link in the description for DigitalOcean and I will show you how to get a $115 free trial. And then you can sign up and you can start using count.ly for free on a website to test it out yourself on your own cloud server with the free credits, okay? And if you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to let me know what your experience with this analytics software is, and I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Peace out.